Ethiopian textile industry is uh, one of the most important economic sector and it has uh, played uh, much greater role in the starting from the 19 mm, uh, 16th this is one of the old industry uh, in Ethiopia and uh, it has uh, many many uh, advantage to the national economy uh, which can be uh, measured and seen uh, from different perspectives. The textile sector is the third largest manufacturing industry next to food processing, beverage and leather in Ethiopia. The government identifies this sector as one of the key investment areas to work on in order to realize the vision of developing the country. Although it was not modernized and well developed, the textile industry has created jobs for millions of Ethiopians over the past 50 years. From the manufacturing sector, uh, the textile industry uh, takes the leading role in creating job opportunities for the mass uh, uh, of uh, our, our uh, people. It has uh, created, on the average, about 30,000 employment. This uh, is uh, only uh, related with the medium and large industry manufacturing sector. If we take into account the small and micro enterprise, the number of job opportunities that has given uh, to the people is extremely quite large. Uh, the micro enterprise by itself has created more than half a million people and the small scale industry has also uh, played a greater role in creating a job opportunity for the, the, the uh, people. To utilize the potential of textile sector, the Ethiopian government has created an enabling business environment in a number of ways. Encouraging private sector, liberalizing foreign exchange, lowering tariff rate and deregulating rigid control over the economy are some of the major incentives and supporters provided to those engaged in this investment sector over the past two decades. Business climate that we have put in place in this country is very fertile and suitable for the development of the textile sector. The government is very keen to support and to put put in place all necessary prerequisites which will help for the growth of this uh, sector. Uh, starting from the investment incentives that we have put in place, because uh, in that incentive uh, regulation we have given a top priority for the textile sector. For example, if we take the tax holiday, most of the other sectors they are getting the tax holiday up to five years. But since we have given very top agenda and a very top priority for the textile sector, we extend, depending on the size and the importance of the project, we extend up to seven years. The tax holiday can be extended up to seven years. So this is a big opportunity which affects the competitiveness plus which will help for the development of the sector. In response to the greater attention given to the textile industry, many local and foreign investors have been actively involved in this lucrative business since last few years. Investors have continued working in this sector. Recently, two integrated textile investment projects are launched in two towns. The first one, Elsa Adi's industrial development project is owned by Turkish investors. The textile project, which is situated on 16 hectares of land, is located in the Adama town of the Oromia Regional State. El Saadi's industrial development project has been under construction since March 2009 in three phases. Now, the first phase of the project is almost completed and is expected to start its pre-production next month. Elsa has started uh, its uh, first stage of investment. Uh, and now we are fully ready uh, to recruit more people in order to train them for another 30 days and following that period, first stage, 
will be full in operation, uh, and for that we have been working very hard so far. Uh, with the completion of the training, we'll be able to export about 30 million dollars annually uh, from Ethiopia to uh, well-known uh, markets. The first phase of this integrated project has a capacity of spinning 20 tons of fabric, 55,000 square meter of weaved textile, and 2.7 tons of knitting textile per day. It has also the capacity of recycling 4.68 tons of wasted cotton for yet another service. The Elsea Dis Industrial Development Project has brought significant socio-economic importance for the country in general and local community in particular. When all the three phases of the project are completed and go fully operational, the company will create jobs for 3,000 people. Uh, of course, uh, with employing up to 3,000 people with the completion of our full project, we will be contributing to the society uh, in terms of wages, pay paying wages. Apart from that, we will make people to gain uh, some new talent talents and also new uh, with after training they will get uh, a new way of looking life because they will uh, increase their capabilities and ab abilities in terms of hand ability in terms of attention in terms of um, getting used to of the mechanical and electronic equipment all these uh, will help them uh, to uh, make themselves adapted to a modern society. In this area, there are many young people who look for jobs to make a living. Now, Elsa, this industrial development company has created a lot of jobs that enable them to change their life. We did everybody to come in Gator. Enough, we are going to send them. I'm going to send you a get a coffee. So far, I had been suffering from lack of job. Now it has been almost more than a year since I joined this new factory. I'm getting much more benefits and my life is drastically changing. I'm saving some amount of money in the bank. Thanks to God, I have also bought a TV set. It is now one year and three months since I joined this factory. At the beginning, I had been working as a daily laborer with 25 burr a day. Now my daily wage rose to 60 burr and the monthly payment to 1,800 burr. I've also saved 5,000 burr in the bank, and at the same time I am managing my family in a better way. Above all, I am learning technological skills here. The same is true with all the people working here because there are various modern machineries here. The diverse ecological zones coupled with the suitable climate condition have made Ethiopia to be an ideal cotton grower. Currently, cotton is widely grown in the eastern and northern parts of Ethiopia. In these areas, investors and local farmers produce cotton and supply it to the textile factories operating in the country. Recognizing this sector is not yet adequately developed, the government is facilitating everything for investors who want to grow cotton and address the growing demand of textile manufacturing companies. Currently, we are trying to attract as many investors, both domestic and foreign, to engage themselves in this important uh, segment. And uh, within uh, a very short period of time, we would be self-sufficient in producing cotton, not only for the domestic manufacturers, but uh, we are planning even to export in lint cotton forms. So uh, the potential to grow cotton is uh, extremely big. Textile industry has a very strong linkage with the agricultural sector because it utilizes cotton as a major raw material. According to the general manager of Textile Industry Development Institute, Selashi Lama, the Ministry of Agriculture is working hard to develop large volume of cotton with improved quality that suits international standards. Quality is extremely very important 
and it is one of the factors which affect really the competitiveness of uh, the textile sector. In this regard, the Ministry of Agriculture has its own research and development centers to improve the quality of uh, the cotton. Of course, there are many factors which affect the quality, starting from the variety of seeds. And uh, the Ministry is trying to uh, look for a variety of seeds which gives high value and uh, high uh, yields. And uh, they are trying to also support the farmers, the growers, how to cultivate and how to pack because uh, it is affected during this process. The quality of the cotton is affected during the process of uh, growing, starting from growing and uh, uh, packing. The SRD's textile factory needs 9,000 metric tons of cotton to produce its product when its first phase project goes fully operational next month. That means in its first phase, this factory consumes 25% of the current cotton production in Ethiopia. Of course, the company's high demand for cotton will oblige the country to start rethinking about how to satisfy the demand from consumer side. The capacity that we have uh, is not sufficient to satisfy the demand for the textile sector. Obviously, uh, there is uh, capacity limitation, supply supply side problems. If the demand and supply is not reconciled, then there is uh, a point that we have to look into. And uh, the production capacity currently is uh, estimated about uh, 45 up to 40 up to 50,000 tons lint cotton per year. For many years, Ethiopia's textile export has been mainly targeting European and African markets. Italy, Sweden, and Belgium are the major export destinations in Europe for Ethiopian textiles, while Djibouti, Kenya, and Switzerland are the major destinations in Africa. However, LCRD's industrial development company is targeting to widen its horizon and export its textile product to all international markets. The main market destination uh, of ESA is European countries. So that's where value-added products can be sold and where our uh, very well-known qualities can be realized to their actual uh, value. Uh, but on the other hand, as I have mentioned before, uh, since the world is globally uh, expanding and becoming uh, as a whole one market, uh, we must be checking on uh, all other markets, but also United States is our one of the major markets. Saigon Dima Textile Factory is the second huge plant on the pipeline established in Sabata town of the Oromia Regional State. The Saigon Dima Integrated Textile Investment Project was started in December 2008 as a joint business of the Ethiopian government and Turkish investors. According to the joint venture agreement, the Ethiopian government owns 60% of the share and the Turkish investors take the rest 40%. Uh, Saijin Dima is a, a share company established by the joint investment of uh, the Ethiopian government and Turkish uh, investment group. and. Uh, it is located here at Dima in the town of Sabada uh, on a site having a total area of 170,000 square meters uh, out of which 60,000 square meters is going to be covered by factory and uh, other buildings to give service to the operation of the factory. Finalizing all phases of this project requires investing $78.5 million. Out of this, $47.1 million will be contributed by Ethiopian government. Second Dima Integrated Textile Investment Group is planning to start production in the coming June. When it goes fully operational, more than 900 people will get jobs. 
Out of the total employees of the factory, 650 of them will be direct operators of production machineries. Up to now, 80% of the project has been completed. Technically, we can say over 80% of the job have been accomplished regarding the work, work fulfillment, but uh, there is an effort to uh, crash the activity by overlapping some activities that could go parallel to accelerate the finalization of the project because it has been delayed uh, due to uh, very heavy rain during the last uh, winter season which has affected almost the, prog the progress of the work for about three months. Like a this industrial development company, Sagandima has also a very big production potential. It has a capacity of spinning 25 tons of cotton and to produce 35 tons of yarn a day. We will be having a total uh, yarn production capacity of uh, 35 tons from both uh, spinning plants. One of it will supply short fiber uh, spin yarn of an average of uh, 20 number English, which could be 20 tons per day. And uh, the second spinning plant, which will also dye the product, will be processing uh, long staple fiber with an average capacity of uh, number 36 metric to be about 15 tons per day. So the third plant, which is a weaving and the finishing plant, is expected to deliver about 15,000 meters of fabric per day.